Hello everyone and welcome to Talladega for the uh, running of 10th race of the season, the Geico 500, Alabama, Talladega. It's um, 38 laps around this 2.66 mile uh, super speedway, not the biggest super speedway we have, but still pretty big, definitely. And, uh, how about I go over to top ten to start off here. Caleb Campbell gets the pull, his second consecutive pull, and his third pull of the season. Outside of him is Quentin Moore. Um, those two, both hunter drivers. And there's Junior Ramos in fourth and third. Tyler Lyman, another owner driver. Fifth, TJ Hanley. Sixth, Michael Canto. 7th, Johnny Gardner, 8th, Sergio Alonso, 9th, Nathan Stapleton, and 10th and is um, Jay Jefferson, so, um, yeah. <coughs> I'll be back with the command. Drivers, start your engines! There you go. Sir Command, uh... And, uh, it's gonna be, uh, I think it's gonna be a pretty, uh, interesting race here at Talladega. Probably a wild one. Uh, can't forget about the big one. And it's not a matter of, um, will, it's a matter of when, of course. And I don't really know. And also, um, everyone knows this, the, uh, Starfish line is not in the trioval. It's right after it, so uh but the restart zone's in the trioval, so um yeah, but here we go, pace cars in. Caleb Camp and Quinn Moore lead this uh, pack of forty two cars. Here. As we're coming to the green, get ready. And green flags in the air, and people already jumping out. Green flag in the air, and Clinton Moore leads you. A lot of shuffling. They're already going three wide. Now the back stretch. Going all over the place, the game might be kind of lagging, but that doesn't matter too much because it's not too laggy. Is Clinton Moore trying to get to the bottom of 46? He can't yet. Can't do it quite yet, but he's right on the back bumper of him. And oh, there he goes. There he goes with the push from Johnny Gardner. They go for the lead. I don't even know who led that lap. It was Clinton Moore who led that lap in four wide for the lead. Luke Rainey makes it four wide for the lead. That was a risky move there. Luckily, they didn't wreck. Like, you can go four. Oh, no, there they go. Oh, one car around. Only one car, it seems. It's the 17. Jeremiah Kenson. These guys aren't on the track yet, though. This could be get dangerous if they can't merge. Oh, 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 uh. keep it straight, and I don't know what 22 is doing, but he isn't going to wreck, and that just split up the field, and there was no caution because of that, but Luke Rainey led the lap, there's a 17 who spun, but there was no caution called for that because everyone got that settled out. So now the speed, the field's kind of spread out here. There's a bigger pack behind this pack now. Contact between the 97 and the 46 right there. The 21 still pushing the 48. Yeah, it definitely looks like these guys are. Gonna catch the 
Four really wants to round the 43 there. It's Adam Lewis is not the best luck. TJ Hanley trying to gonna make it three wide for a second. Decided not to push the 46 and he tried to take that spot himself. And I'm not 100% sure if that pack back there is catching it all. This is a pack of nine cars right here. Four wide again. Caleb Campo keep on, keeps on getting put way up high. And there goes Hanley for the lead now. With a push for Clinton Moore. TJ Hanley going for the lead. The trial, the fact that the start finish line is, isn't in the trial could set up for some interesting finishes. Of course. Four wide for a second again. Here comes Nathan Stapleton, um, the 99, um, TJ Hanley's team owner, car owner. And I'm pretty sure that 43 and the rest of the pack's catching. Here comes Stapleton for the lead on his, uh, one of his own, of his own cars. And yep, that pack is catching. Oh, caution. Caution came out. Okay, that's weird, but Stapleton will lead us back to the line. I'm not understand sure what the caution was. Was it debris? There might have been debris. They had to call the caution after that, but that's gonna bunch the field back up. And people are trying to figure out where to go here. Everyone's all jumbled up. Uh oh. I think in the back here people are stacking up. I think the 81 just got some a ton of front end damage. Yeah, he did. That is not good for the 81. But I'm pretty sure we are going to have pit stops, I think. Maybe someone spun on the back stretch? I'm not too sure. I must not tire smoke. Yeah, okay, it definitely looks like someone spun on the back stretch. It's time for pit stops before we look at that. Nathan Stapleton will lead us down, and I don't think anyone's going to stay out. Stapleton leads us. And uh, let's take a look at his pit stop here. Let's see what the strategy is. Strategy is, is it two tires, four tires? It's like it's two tires for some. Oh, oh, no, oh. Oh, problems for Stapleton. Oh, no, that's going to be a interesting team meeting. Nathan Stapleton gets, oh, jeez, um... Nathan, oh, okay, I think Stapleton's done now. That is definitely going to be an interesting team meeting. He just got taken, he just got taken out by his teammate right there. Coming off of pit road, he just got... Okay, that is definitely not good. Yeah, he just got took out by his uh, teammate right there on pit road. I'm pretty sure his day's done now, so, um, but... I'll be back with the replay of that wreck, or whatever happened. I'm not too sure what happened. Alright, so here's what happened. It looks like the 9 of Ben Crouch here. Oh, no, the 7. The 7 of... Uh, yeah, the 7... Cool. Oh, the 7 Kevin Roach Jr. He just gets... Oh, the 92 comes down, and he clips him. I don't... Very intentional, and it looks like they, uh... 
Hogs in a row might got a bit of damage in that, and it looks like they settled it out, but that was enough to call the caution. Got a couple on boards. No, oh, we only have like two. Worth the time, uh. Julius Anderson. Yeah, he. I don't think he had anything. I don't think he could do anything about that, but. And. Alex Adaro, who, uh, might have got a bit of damage to points leader, but even though it doesn't really matter, like, points leader, because he's already locked in chase. Whatever. Yeah, that's a bit of damage. we will be back with the, uh, restart. Alright, so welcome back. Your car's out. The only car out is Nathan Stapleton from the league, because he got taken out on pit road by his old car. So, uh... Also, Alonzo, who was also involved in the incident, was is now two laps down. That is going to be an interesting team meeting right there, but... Eric Monaco is your leader. Your top ten is Eric Monaco, Austin Rogers, Caleb Campbell, Clinton Moore, um, 43 Jay Jefferson, top five, um, Jonathan Raines, Adam Lewis, TJ Hanley, Luke Rainey, and Johnny Gardner. That's our top ten. Let's get ready for the restart. The Twenty-eight still... 28 team still repairing stuff on pit road there. And, uh... Here we go. Green flag in the air. People jumping out of line already. It looks like the 28 is going to pull off pit road now. Hopefully he doesn't LePage the field because that looked a lot like what... <laughs> it looked like that was about to happen, but... No, oh, he didn't merge in front of the entire field, though, so, um, people look pretty similar to the incident, though. 46 slides across the 51's bumper, that's his own car right there, almost turned him into the wall. People are going all over the place in the back of the pack, pack and the 28 will merge in an open area. And, oh, one more got put pretty wide there. Pretty, pretty quite there, um... Pretty tight right there, and oh, I said quite. Now, Jay Jefferson's gonna be going for the lead. Yeah, Campbell led that lap. Adam Lewis is leading a chain of. Yeah, pretty a chain of cars here down the bottom. Adam Lewis has not had the best luck this season. Like I've said. Not too sure when halfway is he. 43 still trying to get. Still trying to get that 46 car. He still has not cleared him. It's a tight battle. People are. Serving all over the place. TJ Hanley. Four wide for the lead for a second there, but it's three wide for the lead now. Who's going to lead the lap? I think Jefferson led the lap. He did. Now we got a bit of a, a train going here in the bottom. Interesting as Hanley goes to the lead, but Gardner. Oh no, there they go. John Gilbert around. And it's only John Gilbert. I'm surprised none of. And John Gilbert's gonna save it and keep the car going. Probably gonna have to pit for tires though. I don't think that's a caution. It isn't. God, that was, wow, okay. Incredible save by the double zero there. He, he's lucky no one hit him. Three wide for the lead now. Alex De La Rowe trying to get there, but now Jeff Toledo is trying to get there. Four wide. 64, that's Luke Rakowski, one of your race, race away in drivers, making it four wide for the lead. So you got a bit of a small pack right here. And then you got the big pack right back there. Kind of like real tag Talladega racing, you know? Let's go, Campo now trying to go back for the lead. Gonna make it three wide. It's getting really tight. 
Oh, oh no, there they go. Oh, oh, two, oh, big, big Rex. That card, oh no, oh. Oh, 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 jeez. Oh, my O's sound really weird, but the 65 of D Derek Hobo flipping over. Slim so, so has roof quite a bit there. Oh, they're still wrecking. That's Eli Bryant, Alex Stewart. This, I think I, I think I want to call this one the big one because everyone just piled in there late. After those guys got on the wall, there's there were like four wide behind them. It looks like Caleb Campbell led back. That was a big wreck right there. And there's probably a ton of cars out now. That is, I, I think I can call that one the big one. My, my O's sound really weird. <laughs> I know, you, you don't have to tell me. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm 99% sure we're gonna pit stop soon. Let me check something real quick though. Okay, so I just checked, um, halfway will be a, um, halfway will be a 20, 20, lap 20 of 38, I think. So, uh, here comes, uh, these guys on the pit road now. Let's see what the pit strategy is, no one's staying out. Derek Hamo got on his roof there. That's a pretty big wreck. I, I think that's I think that's the big one. I'm, I'm pretty sure that's the big one. Yes, the, yeah. I, I'm gonna call that one the big one. Let's see what the strategy is. Looks like fuel only. Yeah. Look. Yep, just gonna top it out on fuel, and the 43 almost beat him to the line there. He beat him past the line, but I don't think. Maybe you get that? I don't even know. So, uh. I think Campbell should be the leader, but maybe not. Yeah, it looks like he should be the leader, because he's gonna. Yeah. Hard of Auburn Alonzo stayed out. I think that's gonna let him get one of his laps back, but Okay, yeah, that's definitely the big one. There's only twenty one cards left in the race. Yeah, okay. I didn't even realize that it didn't look nearly as big. That was Oh geez, I messed up. Um ton of cars out of the race right now. Yeah, it looks like... Yeah, Jay Jefferson looks like he will be the leader. We'll be back with the replay of that huge wreck. we probably going to be reviewing it for uh, quite a bit here, but we'll be back. Alright, so it all starts right here. I knew this probably wasn't going to work, so the four clips his teammates, Jeff Toledo, and then those guys... Go down there, and then all of them go up in the wall like that. Igor Barreto, he was having a good run. Adam Lewis was having a good run. Jeff Toledo, they get caught up in that. And here comes the here comes the rest of the field. And the first one to get clipped right there is the 95 who goes up in the front of the field. And talk about the 3M bad luck because he's right there when that happens, and then. The tracks is clogged after that, and 34 gets off off the ground, and thing just kind of gets spread out. If that makes any sense? And and then these these guys pile in late. Yeah. Okay. This is weird. So the eight, oh, the 88, it's the the 54, and I, I don't think you had any damage in it. That's weird. But let's take a look at that from a different angle, because... Um, let's take a look. Let's focus on the 
focus on the 65 here. Take a look at TV camera 2 here and just... Derek Common, one of your race winning drivers, he, uh, on his roof here, and he goes back over. We got a couple on boards. First off, Luke Rainey, who was caught up in this, and his day is done. They, if they slowed down too, they probably would have wrecked the guys in the near the back there. Let's also go on board. Adam Lewis. Pretty hard in the wall there, and then Jeff Toledo. Quentin Moore, who uh, I think he got around this. I just re I just realized I just I just noticed that Luke Burkowski got around that I didn't even see that let's also go on board with the 08 Keek Scott who uh, I placed the wrong time I guess I reckon the front gonna check out the bit and it work out. Yeah, I just want to see like two more on boards because I don't even know. The three. And the 34 who gets lift off the ground. Here is what see this. Was Alexander Rowe in this? I don't I don't think he was. But uh Yeah. You avoided it. Now uh, how about we just take a look at the wreck uh, one last time here in the uh, spectator camera. Yeah, I'm gonna call that one the big one at your Talia. All right, welcome back. I can't even go over everyone that's out of the race now, but um, there's 22 cars left in the race. One of them's a lap down. That's Sergio Arnold Alonso, who was in an incident on pit road earlier. He's probably going to get destroyed on the restart, but, um, yeah, okay, so Jay Jefferson leads you, pace cars in, and, uh, let's get ready for the uh, restart, with, uh, realistically only, uh, 21 cars left in contention to win this, so, uh, here we go, green flag in the air, let's go. I already been halfway, by the way, so uh, there might be another big one. <laughs> he jumping low. Interesting. Jimmy Jefferson gets the jump. This pack is spreading out a little bit because of Alonzo, but there isn't really not too many people are even left in the race. Like, like seriously, look at that. 
three wide for the lead. Eric Monaco making it three wide. Caleb Campbell still has not had a win yet. Gotta remind you about that. Clint Moore and Caleb Campbell are the only people in this pack who have not won yet. So this pack will get bigger. Clint Moore making it three wide. Alexander Rowe cannot find his way to the bottom. There. Rowe does have a bit of damage, but it wasn't significant too. Is Monaco will power through on the uh, outside there. Interesting. Michael has a decent lead over the rest of the field here. And Jake Hubert's gonna get put three wide by his team owner right there. It looks like these these couple got the uh, it looks like the 64 and the 32 are catching up to the pack slowly. They definitely do have enough time as um we are we've just hit halfway. They're four wide, and that's really letting Eric Monaco pull away. But that isn't necessarily always a good thing at these super speedways. And yeah, that 64 is right there. So is this 32. So, uh, two more people will add us to this pack right here. Okay, Cooper going for second. Lukowski going for, I, I don't even know. Um, I think six. Ugh. Eric Monaco is still your leader. Blocking mostly the bottom lane there, which is smart. J. Jefferson falling back in line. And he is going to go for the lead now. See back there, Roger Ray, last race winner. And J. Jefferson going for the lead now. You know, I, I, I have like, kind of have this feeling that there might have been a bigger wreck behind. That wreck. I, I'm definitely gonna have to check that after the race is over, or if there's another caution. Is uh, Jay Jefferson leading? Six four still not entirely connect to the draft. As Powers Racing teammates pushing each other in the front right now. To be completely honest, I think it's only going to be these guys in contention to win this. As we are approaching 10 to go. Will there be more pit stops? I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. As Eric Monaco goes for a second. Uh, Jay Jefferson is going to block Monaco. Just making sure he doesn't get there. And it's kind of starting to look like the ending to the uh, 2017 Daytona 500. Don't you think? Just a little less cars, you know? And a lot more passing going on here. You have Campbell right behind Jay Jefferson now. He's probably about to make a move here in the tri -oval. There he goes. Oh, he gets blocked. Still trying to push him. Up the track. Monaco goes for a second now. Can't get there. You're there, he let off because he didn't want to pass the steam motor. He, car owner, whatever. Dave okay, Campbell okay, still looking for that first one of the season. Jay Jefferson won in Atlanta off a of pit strategy. Eric Monaco won at Michigan. Alexander Rowe won at both. First two-time winner, trying to become the first three-time winner. Eric Monaco, he won at Michigan. Quentin Moore has not won yet. And, um, 
And there's Caleb Campbell, and there's Luke Perkowski right there. Now you're race away in drivers. Looking to uh, get up down the pack, but he is going to get put four wide. Right there is Clinton Moore going for the lead, too. And Derek Edison is following behind very slowly. He's not off the pace, though. Definitely not off the pace. Either. They are approaching the slow car, the 28. Virgil and Alonzo. Dangerous. Jake Hoover going, going for seconds. Quentin Moore fell off a bit there. 32 going all the way up the racetrack to try to push the 64. And we're going to have pit stops. Okay. Unless that's unscheduled, but I'm pretty sure we're going to have pit stops. This might be a fuel mileage race. Hey, if the 28 was a couple laps down, he'd probably be able to win. And now he's going to hold up the bottom lane right there. And he's going to get pushed up top. Now it's going to be a battle between these two until pit stops happen. So, uh... And I saw Johnny Gardner coming off pit road there. There he is. Who's going to stretch on fuel? We're approaching 10 to go, so everyone's going to have to make a stop. Here come a ton of people. Yeah, definitely scheduled. Who comes in this time? I think Jay Jefferson will. Almost everyone will, except for Caleb Campbell. Actually, yeah, everyone did, except Campbell right there. Campbell's alone with the lead. If I to stretch it on gas. He probably has to come down next time by, though. There's Monaco right there. He's already pit. Who's going to shuffle out as the leader? That's the question. I feel like Johnny Garter might back, be back in contention to win this. With that pit strategy, I'm pretty sure he did get caught up in that wreck. But Caleb Campbell, here he comes into pit road here. There's three pulls, but no wins. John Gilbert, Caleb Campbell, and John Gilbert seem to be the last two people to pull off. Good road here, excluding uh, Alonzo, who's a couple laps down. Let's see, look at the pit stop here. For Campbell, I feel like it should just be topping off on fuel. And it will be. 46. I'm gonna top it off on fuel. Get going. No, no mistakes were had that time. In fact, he gained a little bit on the double zero. That must have been a pretty good pit stop. And here comes the 14 of Alexander Rowe. Looks like Rowe has shuffled out to be the leader. The 46 can't get off pit road in time. He's got to merge quickly. I don't know if he can get up to speed in time. He might be able to. I think he... Yeah, I think he is going to be able to. He's still a little slower, but he will shuffle out to be the leader, I believe. There's 20. There's 20 all the way back there. Yeah. 14 trying to pass on the outside, though. It might actually work because 14's got a lot more momentum, and it will work. Pass on the outside, and now it's all of these guys came. The only person in this pack who hasn't won yet is Caleb Campbell. Can he do it? Ten to go for uh, Campbell and everyone else. It looks like Monaco is going to try to help out his team owner. But not Jay Cooper. Actually, yeah, Jay Cooper. He's kind of... Looks like all the Caleb Campbell Motorsports cars here on the bottom. 14 tried to get in line there. wasn't enough. Gonna come down between the I'm pretty sure it's gonna come down between these five right here. I'm really surprised Campbell has not won yet. Because he is 
doing pretty pretty good. He's fourth in points off the consistency. And I don't even think I don't even know what his best finish is. I don't think it's a second. It's he's gonna go for the lead on his T bait here. I don't think the 64 and others are gonna be able to catch before the I don't think the 64 and the 32 are going to be able to catch before the race is over. Forty-three going all the way, almost on the yellow line there, trying to get underneath the 46. Jay Jefferson finished second um, last race in Trenton. Could follow up second with a win. That'd be great. Fifty-one has a push on the high lane. From row. Yeah, the, the 64 and the 32 definitely aren't catching, but uh, top 10 for them would definitely be good as Monica will clear on the outside. Here comes lap traffic. Look out. 43 pushes a 46 up the track. Old oh, contact. Between the 51 and the 7 right there. People trying to get through as it looks like it might be. I think everyone's going to be able to shuffle out okay. They're probably going to get reconnected pretty soon here. But Monaco in the lead currently. Row trying to go for second. Alexander Row trying to get a third win. Campbell's in the draft though. Uh, Ford has Ford has the most wins of an, any manufacturer so far this season with I believe um, five wins. Yeah, five, five wins. Can't go to the point now. Those guys right there are definitely not catching, but good for them on a top 10. Campbell leads the field. There goes Roe to the inside, and, and Monaco is going to have to help out Roe because I don't know. J. Jefferson is back in this pack, and Jay Cooper probably will be too pretty soon. The 51 trying to go for the lead already. And I'm pretty sure these guys don't want the 14 to get another win and just extend the points lead even more. It's pretty hard to beat, though. Jay Jefferson going for the lead now, though. Tight racing up in the front. Next time by should be four to go. So um yeah, five to go right now. Monaco being pushed through the middle by his car owner and he will clear, so will Campbell. Until Campbell's trying so hard right now to just gotta get that win. And he's right there too. Feel like though he should probably just push his teammate with his car until the uh, white flag drops. That might just be what he does. Four laps to go. Forty-six pushing the fifty-one. Might have to. Might actually have to act pretty fast though because the forty-three is right there. He's looking, thinking about it. And still not, still not gonna make the move. But the 43 is right there. He's gotta make it pretty fast because that's gonna happen. Oh, the 46 still maintains that second position. Three laps to go here at Talladega. 51 might be trying to hold off the 46 for the uh, the win here. Monaco is second in points. It would help him out tremendously, definitely. Look.
looking. Looking, he's gonna make it now. There goes Campbell to the inside. I mean, the two to go, and it looks like Jake Hoover gonna try to help out the 41. Gonna try to side draft off the 43 a bit there. He's gonna push his car right there. No, car owner right there. Jake Hoover, one at Daytona. He's got a plate win. Who knows, maybe he could. He might try to go for the lead there, but the 51 is being pushed on the outside. It's Powers Racing versus Caleb Campbell Motorsports right now. Two laps to go. And it's side by side. And honestly, it's anyone's game still. Campbell so has the nose. He has not been able to get the nose ahead, though. Of that 51. And here comes the 28, though. It's going to either... Save him and hurt him. Oh, he's going to block the outside. That's definitely going to help him out. Coming to the white flag. One more time. Oh, Campbell almost got spun. Oh, not Campbell. Monaco almost got spun there. White flag waving for Caleb Campbell. Monaco almost got spun by Jay Jefferson there. He's out of it. They're approaching the 33. He shouldn't be a problem, though. Too, he shouldn't be too much of a problem. 46 going low. Gonna try to get underneath that 33. He will. The 41's gonna get stuck. Oh, the 14. Coming off a turn number four. Four. Campbell's got the tri oval. They do it, and he's got um like three car lengths of a lead, and off coming off the tri oval. Caleb Campbell is going to win at Talladega. And again, another driver wins from the pole. The pole must really help me out, but Caleb Campbell will win at Talladega. He finally gets that win. And, yeah, going to do it. Alexander Rowe comes up short again at another plate race. He came, came up short at Daytona, was leading at the white flag, and then everything went wrong there. Got passed up by Jake Hoover, and he won. And because of the lap car of Joey Hightower right there, he couldn't get a couldn't get too much of a good run, the 46, to get there in the trial. And now Caleb Campbell is going to win. But before we take a look at the finishing results, I need to check something. Alright, so here's your finishing results. I checked if there was a, a big wreck before the... bigger wreck before the uh, previous wreck, but there wasn't. So, uh... So I checked, but Kale Campbell becomes, um... Another one of the drivers that are gonna win from the pole. That seems to be a trend here. But he won't leave the most laps. That goes to Eric Monaco. Oh, wait, here I'll go over your top ten. You know, Campbell, Alexander Rowe, Jay Cooper, Eric Monaco, Jay Jefferson, Matt Montoya, Roger Ray, Luke Burkowski, John Gilbert, and Quentin Moore. Derek Edison fell in the top ten. That's, that's a shame. Burkowski. Well, so, uh, yeah, here's the rest of their field. A ton of people out of the race. I'll be back with points. Alright, so here are the points after 10 races. Alexander Rowe still has the points lead, but it is closing up a bit, and uh, I'll go over your top 10 here in points. Alexander Rowe, Eric Monaco, Caleb Campbell, Luke Rainey, Jay Jefferson, Austin Rogers, Jake Hoover, Keith Scott, Roger Ray, and Matt Montoya. That's your top 10 points, and the only two, peop only two people in the top 10 don't have wins. That's Austin Rogers and Keith Scott. So, uh, yeah. Also, Adam Lewis is now last in points. So, um, that just goes to show how unlucky he is, really. But, um, yeah. So, I'll see you guys next week for Rockingham. Yeah, Rockingham 400. Probably won't be, uh, I, I don't know. You won't be very long. I, I don't even know what I'm saying. Just see you, see you next week for uh, Rockingham, yeah.